How you guys doing today? It's Anthony Ganji, host of Tear Talk. I'm going to show you a video real quick that's sickening. You have an individual who got arrested for killing two cops by the name of Luis Bracamontes. Kills two cops and then brags as he's in court that he's going to kill two more. And then you get the judge who tells the jury to leave because God forbid they become biased after what this person's saying. But... Having said that, maybe it's something that they should hear. And then you got the lawyer quick to use that the inmate is mentally ill. So let me show you this video. Be silent. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, now. please step out of the hallway. They're fucking dead. <clears throat> they don't fucking regret that shit. The only thing they fucking regret is the fucking skill too. I wish I fucking kill more of those motherfuckers. <clears throat> Pocket. Eric, we asked if the camera be turned off. I think the order was only through with me. I will break up soon and I will kill more. <clears throat> if we ever fucking get in front of me, just like that. There's no need for fucking trial. I'm gonna fucking go to the fucking trial. <coughs> The jurors have left the courtroom. Mr. Bracamontes, this is your trial. I want you to be present, but you will not disrupt this trial. You will not speak out. If you do, you will be removed from the courtroom. Do you understand that? Bring the jury back, please. Your Honor, before you do that, may I be heard on one issue? Go ahead. <clears throat> Thank you. We believe these outbursts and the inappropriate laughter are part of the mental illness that we talked about earlier. And at this point, we would ask the court to reconsider its ruling on the 1368 motion we filed, or in the alternative, let us declare a doubt, another doubt, under Penal Code Section 1368. Your motion is denied. We'll address this at a later time. Please bring the jurors in. Thank God that this video got released. Because this individual is going to find his way in our facilities, our prisons. So we got to be on high alert with this individual. He threatened to break out and kill more. That's what he did. This is why we have tools in play like solitary and ag seg and restrictive housing. It's to protect us. And we're losing those tools. Just recently, I saw that another state's getting rid of solitary confinement for the mentally ill. Well, look what this lawyer just said. He tried to blame that this individual is mentally ill. So now what's going to happen? He uses that as, a, as an excuse, but that's still a threat. What about this person's playing the system? There's a reason why we had these tools in play. These tools are meant to protect staff. Now we have a warning. We have an individual who threatened to break out, kill more people, and then look how quick that lawyer is to say, well, he's mentally ill. So what does that mean? He doesn't mean it. And then you got the judge telling the jury to leave because he doesn't want the jury hearing that because then the jury's going to become biased. The jury should have heard that because that's who that person is at that moment. That person is a serious threat to society and he'll be a serious threat into the correctional facilities, or into the prisons, the jails, wherever he's going. It's funny because once they're removed from society, they forget about us. This video is a reminder. When this person goes into the prison system, I am so glad that video got out because that's going to be what you need to hold that person where they need to be. Whoever leaked that video, thank you. Because hopefully that video will put an alert on that individual that's needed because he's still not done. He made it, made it aware that he's not done, and then we can act accordingly. And we can make sure that that person's put in a position where he can never hurt anyone again, especially those brave men and women who work behind that wall. So thank you for that video getting released.